Hello everyone and welcome to Seasonal Watch. Today we're watching Rear End, Beyond Journey's End, Episode 3. Now last time we had Fern actually training and become a proper mage while Aether just grew old and finally was just too old to get out of bed. And Fern was keep working on it so that she can accomplish this before he's gone so that he she can give this a, as a farewell gift you know show to him that she's now capable of taking care of herself and even though he wanted them to leave so that Fern wouldn't have to see somebody else dying um Fearin just pointed out that Fern was ready for it she so instead of just pushing her away Make more memories together, you know? Remember each other so that there won't be stuff like it happened with Himmel, where Yuren was disappointed and said that she didn't get to spend more time with him. She didn't get to really know him before he was gone. So, that was done, so they finally left. And as they were exploring, doing some handy jobs here and there, getting some weird spells, they end up finding a in the village a statue of Himo that was old and everything so she cleaned it up used the anti-rust spell and they were thinking of putting a field of flowers there when she remembered that the flowers from his hometown that he talked about so she wanted to find those to put it there however those have been gone for over a decade and so she has spent the time looking for them over six months Fern was even wanting her to give up on it because yeah, she's an elf. She can do this for a long time, but the others aren't. They're human. And even though she was starting to get through to her, Furin just said that she would just stop soon. How soon that was? Who knows? But then they started to follow the, not squirrel, the seed rats. And she was telling the story about the field of flowers and how emo, um... Gave her a compliment and everything. And she found where the seed rats planted those seeds. And they found a field of blue moon weed or something like that. And so they made a field there and even put a little flower crown on him. And so they're back on their journey. I don't know what we're going to have today, but considering that they started like folks on high there, then the statue of Hemo and stuff, so maybe we'll have something with um, Aizen this episode, maybe? Who knows? We'll just have to see. As a reminder, this is a time reaction, which means you sync up your own version with mine as we watch it together. I'll try to add some scenes here and there, but don't expect too much. That being said, let's get started. Three, two, one. Oh, I keep forgetting. I'm not hearing or watching the opening for the first four episodes. Only, so, if I manage to record both episodes today, next week we'll start watching the openings. And also next week we're going to be watching five and six and finally get caught up. So it will only be one episode a day. Which will also be nice because Rain of the, the Seven Spell Blades will also be done. So, it will really just be one episode that day, instead of like three, if I can manage that. Which, that's kind of rough. So yeah, we kind of already talked about what was the last episode. Um, I don't know if we're going to stick with just Freeran or and Fern, or if there's other people that are going to join as her new party, you know? She had the hero party, and now maybe another party, so... In that case, it would be Freerin, Fern, and maybe two others, possibly. Uh, we have about one, 20 seconds still left of opening, so... Um, yeah, like, Aizen should still be alive. He's a dwarf, unlike the humans, so... I'm so surprised Aether lived that long compared to Himo. He has God's faith, you know. 
27 years after the death of Hemo. So okay, so this is like a year after Fern became a mage. Food, water, daily essentials. Yeah, what is left for her to do? Uh, she can even tell that stuff now, huh? I imagine. Because they've been together for like seven years. Gotta buy something we don't need. Why do you want a potion that only solves clothing? Yeah, I was about to say that last one was okay. So, what is Free Ren up to? Hmm. Ah, she's gonna be swinging on her. You know, just supervising. Herbs and stuff. Mm. I don't know if that's a case here. Oh yeah, she really does. Like, she's stressed. I wonder why. Either, like, don't have enough money, or trying to decide something for Fern, maybe. I don't know. Oh, she bought something. So, is there other stuff that she's gonna be buying? Weird bones, yeah. I wouldn't really call the other one medicine, you know? Desserts. Oh, is it maybe like Fern's birthday that she's preparing, you know? So giving her a dessert, a birthday present. Exactly, maybe that's why she's deciding to get you a dessert. Okay, that is my that is my theory now. Planning like a surprise birthday for her. Um, I don't think you're going to find any desserts there. Right? The bartender. That's who she thinks she's talking to. Or this show? I don't know. I don't know if this show. So they are actually being truthful here? Huh. So, I guess you can't judge a book by discover. She's actually pushing the, the crate. You're right? She's gonna be done with her stuff and you won't have even started. Something sweet, you know? Does she learn about the desert? Uh, the, why desert? Dessert. I say desert.
That is a nice view, by the way. Exactly what I was saying. Just wanted to apologize. Like, it's so quiet and calm. Oh, we're having a flashback. She always shoots this. It's her preferred choice. Riff omelette. Grapes. A uh, drink, alcohol, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one is very clear. Right? Ooh, those pancakes looks nice. Mm-hmm. Giving her deck sensory. Birthday! And theory was correct. Ooh. No. I wonder if we're gonna see her wearing it from now on. Maybe it's even the opening or something. She's learning, cause after all it happened with the others and Hemo. You know, it's the intention that counts. The fact that you're trying to learn, it, it speaks volumes. See, she's putting the hair ornament. Nice little music. Yeah, focusing on the hair ornament. Very... Excuse me. Yeah, retrace the adventures, you know. Before all signs fade away. Trying to recollect information and memories from back then. Before they are gone, since humans disappear like that for her. I see why she was talking about older sister. <laughs> but like, huh? We basically the same thing, so that can't be the reason. Well, sometimes genetics. So it's still twenty-seven year. Is it always gonna be reminding us X amount of years since the hero Himal passed away? Oh, training. Defense, huh? The barrier. Look, look at... Look at the ground there. It kind of twisted around. I thought it was actually going to go around it, but it went, like, in between. <laughs> like, quite a big like, Spartan training. 
And three year ends just chilling. This. How about this? <laughs> yeah. She wasn't the mage from the Heroes Party that defeated the Demon King for nothing, you know? Okay, so defense spells use a lot of mana. Mm hmm. Kind of like when you parry, you know? You want to have at the exact spot. As, so, as little area as possible, as little time as possible. Oh, the book. Bedtime story, you know? <laughs> yeah, what's up with this village? Not for a spell, but maybe related to her adventuring party, memories, maybe. They recognize her. Wow, was sealed. Wow. I don't think we heard that name before. The Elder Sage of Corruption. Eighty years ago, so around when the party was formed. Well, three years after the party was formed, right? Wait, um, 27, 57, no, seven years after the party was formed. <laughs> yeah, I should learn more about it once he was gone. Ooh. Look at him sealed there. Wow. Ooh, that smile, though. Like, it's kind of like a mask. Oh, she's going to spell it and take care of him. Okay. And I guess 50 seconds. 50 seconds. 80 years difference made her strong enough to deal with him, huh? He developed the first piercing spell. Defensive spells and magic resistance armor. Wow, forty percent of ranger, seven percent of me dying to that spell. Yeah, because I guess people come reliant on magic resistant armor and defensive spells. So when the spell that pierces it comes along, they just gets killed. The book. Yeah.
いいよしっかり睡眠をとる方が大事だどうせ明日にはわかる And she's gonna show you since you're not reading it. Now let's see the 80 years difference. She thought her defensive spells first. We're doing this. Kind of crazy that you're just spelling on and such an elite evil being. Like you're freeing them. The, okay. I was about to ask if he talks. Yeah. He's gone. Killed him. Like. Three years after you're gone. Yeah, he's gonna use a piercing spell. Right? It's no pierce offensive spells. Now, is this because he got weakened because of the seal or because Freeran just gave Spartan training? And in 80 years, people learn how to deal with it. Yeah, defense spells at the time couldn't deal with it. But over time, people research and learn. Now it's just another offensive magic. And they make full use of those. Disperse the spell, huh? So he's just gonna... Yeah. That's why it consumes so much mana, because it's such a complex offensive spell. So he's just gonna... Yeah. See, now it's not a full barrier, it's just small pieces that she's using. Because he's just gonna keep blasting too. Use up all their mana. All those layers, but where's Freerun? There she is. Oh, she's using it. Okay. Yeah, like... They learn how to deal with your spell in your defensive one. You kind of have the concept, but you don't really know how to use it. And since they know how the spell function, she may get full use of the offensive spell. Why not an ironic death? Dying to your own spell. And yeah, it was a very chill fight. Um, we we're gonna go to flashback there. Oh, there it is. Oh, the first card. 
<laughs> you saw what I've been wanting to <laughs> Also, Himo's voice is very familiar, but where did I hear it from? Is it like Bakugo's voice or something like that? Or is it another similar voice? I'll have to look it up. And I'll have to remember to look it up. In fact, I'm gonna make a note of that. He knew she would be able to do it. And with that, and other episodes be done. So, yeah, it was kind of nice. Things are very calm and smooth, like a slow journey, you know? We don't seem to have much of an overarching plot, like big conflicts or anything. Then again, from what I heard, this is like a prologue. So maybe moving forward, we're going to have that. But for now, we're just going to be moving around, learning some stuff about the past and everything. Um, Burns learning new spells, like learning as a proper mage and everything. Um, but yeah, we're just going around, solving things related to the past, back to the time where, where there was a hero party, you know? So we're kind of also having some memories from back then. And in a way, this also touched upon Kimo again. Then so he used to visit there and everything, and he got jealous of the kid, but the demon that they fought together and sealed. Now she came back, unsealed him because the seal was breaking anyway, and just straight up deleted him. With his own spell. Quite the irony. But yeah, that's the episode. And that's the episode. Okay. So yeah, smooth sailing here, but we focus a lot of magic this time around. So in the beginning, we focused on Fern and Freeran arriving at like a harbor city, them going to buy stuff, but Fern noticing the face that Freeran was making and how normally she makes that face when she buys weird stuff, such as the bones, the clothing melting, potion, and the book, which actually the book's very useful, but Fern hasn't read it yet, you know? So she was curious what Freeran was gonna do and went to spy on her, watching her like um tense up, trying to decide on an accessory and everything, looking for dessert at a very suspicious bar, but hey, don't judge jo a book by its cover. They were actually very nice people. But in the end, it was all for Calibrate Fern's birthday. <laughs> お金フリーレン
so yeah um Firin is making that extra effort to learn about the others yeah she doesn't really know anything about Fern just yet but she's trying you know it's something she's not used to so it's gonna take a while for her to learn how to do things and just and on the other hand Fern knows a little bit about her already as the pudding which is kind of like Hino knew about her like they all observe her and apparently she always chews that pudding so the only thing that she knew about her companions was that Hyder was an alcoholic but Emo and Aizen explain their favorite food as well like Emo likes the omelette Aizen likes the grapes since they are happy to share uh, stuff about themselves with their teammates. And it's good to see that um, now Firen's making an extra effort to learn about others. Even if it's still early stages, but it's step. なんでわかるの何名一緒に旅をしているとthen before we head into the next area that they were going they made a stop in the middle of the, in the middle of the forest to some more magic training this time ferns learning how to properly use defensive spells which are actually very strong as we learned that they're actually very complex spells that spurs the mad the offensive magic and because of that they use a lot of mana so the ideal situation is use as little area and as little time as possible so as i explained during the reaction it's kind of like when you're pairing in video games like in a fighting game you just block at the exact time the attack which gives you even a benefit in most of these games because of how little you're using that resource. So, yeah, it's very different from what defensive spells were back 80 years before. Which, in turn, is actually um, a very important detail because the demon that she's gonna release from the seal, because it's already breaking and everything, uh, actually was the inventor of a piercing spell, which went through magic resistant armor and defensive spells. And thus, he killed a lot of people. But over time, people learn, analyze, and research to develop new spells and new armors. So, that piercing spell is just another attack spell nowadays. The defense spells are more complex, the armors are more resistant. So, having heard about all that, Fern was surprised when she blocked that, like, Wait, that's the famous piercing spell? That was just a normal attack spell. Because yeah, she didn't knew she didn't know how things were back then. Kinda like us with technology, how things are just normal for us. So 
new uh, younger people are just used to do things with technology that wasn't really possible back then such as like looking something up you need to go to the phone books to the dictionary to the glossary like go to a library to search for it now you can just search on the internet pick up your phone and just search it up like things evolve この地方では冒険者の4割 and just like that, um, Fern was doing an excellent job in blocking his attacks. And when he realized that he used a lot of mana, he then changed his strategy to just uh, keep spamming it, rapid fire, so that she would have to block it and use up all her mana until eventually she can't defend anymore. But she learned from, from Firen to use minimal resources. So instead of being that big barrier that she was using earlier, just small hexagon tiles here and there blocking it off. And only the big wall when he fired the big laser, which in fact she had to put multiple layers to block it. So that gave enough time to Firen to charge up and attack him, ironically, with his own spell. Who he was not not ready to defend against. Even though he learned a little how the defense spell works, I guess he's not capable of just doing it like that, you know? And so, that demon that they had steal 80 years ago, they just killed it. And now he's gone. No need to worry about the seal anymore. So yeah, back in the village, she even recognized the elder, like the village chief. Who was just a little kid back then. And yeah, just more memories. So she goes back on her journey to look for weird spells, but also to um look up look at those memories and things related to the past before they were gone. Since humans don't live that long compared to her, so she wants to find more of that treasure it since she learned that since Emil's death. So yeah, we transition yet to another portion of our journey. But that's where we ended here. So we have one more episode of this supposed prologue, I believe. And then the real story is gonna start. But I wonder what we're gonna have next time. Well, we sh should find out soon enough. But that's all for today. And with that being said, see you next time. Bye.